Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. I think this is episode 9. No, I'm not. I don't think I'm certain that today is episode 9. And episode 9 will go down in history as being the episode where I show everyone how to do draw commands. Now, I'm assuming this is everyone's favorite because they're really fun to play around with and make different things. And graphics are really fun when it comes to programs and they're very effective for portraying what you want to do. So, we're going to start off in Turing with a brand new composition, or, well, I'm too used to After Effects, so a brand new uh, text now, notepad thing. And we're going to have a bunch of command, uh, codes and commands that I'm going to show you. So, the first one, starting with this long list of things, is the dot command. So, the dot command is the command where uh, it basically just draws a dot. So, to do the dot command, you do draw dot dot, and then uh, you're going to put the uh, x and y coordinates. I'm going to put mine as 100 and 100, and then I'm going to make the color green. Now, if I run this, we're going to find this dot one. There it is. Right here. Um, if you can see that, then yeah, that is where the green dot is. And that is uh, basically what the, this command does. It draws one dot in, in a random place, in that place that you uh, gave it. So now I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to make, I'm going to like 101. And then instead of that, I'm going to make it 102. And on this, you are going to have like a little line made out of it. Now don't worry, you don't have to do this to make a line. So once again, to draw, make a draw dot, you draw dot dot, and then um, parentheses, and then you're going to want to put the x coordinates, the y coordinates, and then the color. And then that's basically it for the dot command. Now, there's another command, instead of just putting dots to make a line, you can do the draw line command, which is draw dot line, and then open brackets, and you have to basically put x1, which you're going to make 100, x2, which you're going to make 100, no, you're going to make 200, uh, x, uh, y1, which is going to be 100 as well, and then y2 is going to be 200 as well. Now if I, oh yeah, and then also you're going to need color, which I seem to have forgotten here. Uh, and then we're going to make it red. Now if I run this, it will draw a line where can find where that line uh, so, so the line is, I can't seem to find it actually. I think it, that's a dot, but I can't seem to find the line. Okay, let's see, maybe I can change this around. Oh, there we go, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, you make the lines like that, I think I put them on top of each other. Okay, yeah, that's the line command, so I remember x1, x, uh, x1, y, oh, okay, that's why I got it wrong. It, it's x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so you can't put them all on top of each other. So, let me say 300. Boom, you have a line. Congrats. Okay, so yeah, you can make those little tomato shapes. Okay, so, the next one that we're going to do is draw box. Now, we're going to draw a box where it's going to be like draw dot box. And by doing this command, you're going to have to use open brackets. x1, which is going to make 100. Uh, y1, yes, now this time it's a y1. Uh, x1, y1, we're gonna make 100 as well. And then x2 is gonna be 500, too much, 300. And y2 is gonna be 300 as well. And we're gonna make the color, what color have we used yet? Purple. Yeah, okay, close bracket. Now, if we run this, boom, you have a purple box. And that's really good. Now, uh, yeah, let's basically that part. Um, next part is the draw dot star command. So draw dot star, and you can already see what it is. Draw star. So, so basically, uh, this is going to draw a star on the screen. Now you're gonna type x1, which is I'm gonna make 100. X2. I mean, uh, okay, so x1, y1. I'll make. I guess, and then x2, which I'll make 300, and then y2, which I'll make 250, and then I'm going to make the color of this star 
yellow plus star is a yellow. Run. Now that's a really messed up star, but you know what? It's a star. Okay, so that was the star command. Now I'm gonna now since this program, since Turing is a Canadian program or a British program at least. Uh, well, the guy was British, but this is a Canadian program. They have a built-in maple leaf generator. So we need to draw dot maple leaf, leaf, and then we are uh, parameter are going to be x1, y1, x2, y2. So 100, 100, 200, 200, and then the color we're going to make red because that's what maple leaves are. The red. There we go. How nice does that look? Very cool. Okay, actually I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Just to show it off. Boom! Giant maple leaf. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that command as well. Um, now, there's another drawing command to make a shape, because these are all for shapes. Um, we can make the draw.oval command, which will basically use, um, will, like, you know, make the oval. So yeah, uh, right now I think it's actually forgot, may have forgotten how to use this. One X and Y. Let me just see if I remember to this thing here. Or, oh, okay, wild color. So this green. There we go. Okay, I think this is radius. Yeah, this is radius for x and radius for y. And so if you run that, it gets something really big. So that's how you make an oval. You have your x axis, you have your x, your y, and then like this is the point. So x and y is your point where the center is going to be, and then the radius from the uh, x and then the radius on the y. Uh, so that I can actually make this. Big. So then yeah, so that'll be a weird oval. Now that also it's a circle. So yeah. Uh, and then you draw your your colors right there. Now we're gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna do the final command after this message. All right, so we're back from the break, and basically what we're doing right now is we're gonna be showing you the next row of commands. Yay! Okay, so the next row of commands that we're gonna be doing aren't um, polygons anymore, but now they're build polygons. So I'm gonna do draw dot Fill box. You know what? I'm actually going to start with the first command. So, if you remember this command, this command that I put in a while ago, it made this box. Now, if I also do this, draw on fill, and then I type in coordinates, which I will put in as I want it to be within this box. I'll do 150 and 150, and I'll make the color red. Then, when I run this program now. It will. Wait. A oh. Oh. Yeah. Um. This is the fill color. It needs a border color as well. So I'll make the border color blue. So now, when I run this, it will make that thing. Hmm. That's weird. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay. So, anyways, what fill is supposed to do is it's um. It basically fills up a polygon or shape that you have. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with the box because the box has its own fill command. But an example of where it would work is here uh, in this command, where basically in this it draws a triangle and then fills up the triangle with. Well, that was my mom screaming for some reason. But. We're going to come back to this, which is uh, our triangle thing. So now that I drew my own polygon, um, I wrote the fill command. And uh, for the fill command, I wrote that it will be a green. Uh, it will be green on the fill and black on the outline. So that is what the fill command does. Now that's the general command. I'm actually going to delete this. And oh, okay, I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to use the... Uh, new command that I'm going to do, which is draw dot fill box. And now what fill box does is that it will make a a box, but then this time it will come pre-filled. So I'm um, going to use the proper usage, which is 
the coordinates 100, 100, 300, 300. Actually, I think I'll do this one 50. And then make the color in the inside red and the color in the outline black. Now, if I run this, actually, I'm going to There we go. Yeah, so fill box, I guess you don't need an outline color. Uh, now what this has done is that it made the coordinates of the box, and then it filled the inside with red. So that's basically it for that command. Now it works the same with all the other things, so you can do draw, uh, draw fill, star fill, maple leaf fill, oval, and they all work the exact same way. So I can change to make it fill star, and run this, then bam, we have our red star. Now I'm going to change this to make it yellow. The stars are yellow. And bam, you have your yellow star. So you can like award someone a golden star. I wonder if golden is the color. No, it's not color. Okay, well anyways, that was it for this tutorial, the favorite of other people. And what this is, uh, is a very fun thing. Drawing it with curing is really fun. Now, I am also going to show you what I was doing in the other uh, example that I showed. So if you looked at this funky thing, you saw all these um, all these basically um, draws, right? So when you look at the, in, in under this procedure, which if you don't know what procedures are, then look back one episode or two episodes, sorry, at episode seven where I taught you how to use procedures. Um, Basically, what a draw command does is that a draw command, uh, in this case that I made, was that every so sec so uh, milliseconds, it will uh, draw a new colored thing. So now I'm gonna turn off my music because it's very loud. So it's gonna play with the music and it's gonna change the screen color, and that's basically what this program does. And when it gets to the next screen, it's gonna start spazzing out and. Uh, crazy because down here I made it a loop. So yeah, that's basically it for uh, drawing commands. That's actually took a really long time. But next, I'm gonna be doing the basic commands again. We go back to basics and show you some um, secondary commands, as you can call it, so they're not that important. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Peace.